And I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And I'd just like to thank everybody for the well wishing for the Christmas uh, holiday period. Uh, I very much appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's been really good uh, as usual with the comments and feedback. Um, so here we are, we're back at the bench where you'll always find me. Um, it's not just the big jobs that we do on the railways, it's always the little jobs, the, the figures, uh, the boxes and, and uh, other little things and, well, telephone boxes. Now these, these are the model scene telephone boxes and all I'm doing in there is just painting the back there black. I've painted the, the money box silver and I put a little tiny silver dot on the telephone there I don't know if you can make that out so yeah I don't like this plastic red so I'll paint them um, a satin red uh, using the humbrol paint so yeah these are the model seam ones they're quite cheap they're only a couple of quid you get two in a box now you can buy the Backman ones which are eight pound uh, I think for for the pair, um, but yeah, I just like to prefer to uh, tinker around. <laughs> um, yeah, before we head over to uh, Jarra Road, I have noticed that a little problem with Jarra Road, uh, which we'll go over and see in a minute. Um, the wall is now assembled, and. Uh, it's not sitting properly, it's coming away from the platform. So before I do any of the canopy work, I'm going to have to sort that out first. So what I'll do is, while we're at this junction before going onto the canopies, I will sort out, well, the main road leading to Jarrah Road Station. And um, hopefully that will put the problem to bed. As you will see. Alright, so that's this one almost done. Just got to put a little double silver paint on the, on the telephone there. If I can get it smack in the middle of that dialing. So tiny. That's got it. Right, so let's go over to Jarrah Road. And this is how the station is looking now with the wall in place. It's permanently fixed now. Um, this is where the joint is behind this reinforcing brickwork. And uh, it looks quite impressive along that line and uh, oh, that's where the memorial was glued on right yes when I um first drew the station on the paper many months ago never thought it would turn out like this I think adding the extra story here extra floor um, really gives it that grandeur look so the issue I'm having if we come down to this level you can see right at the end there that the wall is coming away from the platform let me show you what I mean there's a curve in the wall 
just about here. Right, you can see it better if I come on to this side. And there we have, which looks and appears to be a four foot gap. And uh, I've got to fix that before I even think about putting the two canopies in place. Um, so that's what we're going to be focusing on in this week's video is putting the road in and putting paving stones up against this edge will hopefully push that wall you can see even more now up against the paving if you notice when I do that it straightens the wall up vertically as well because it is leaning slightly and uh, yeah that's the plan um, you probably noticed that the kiosk was back on the bench, the reason being is the light was too bright in my mind and I have toned it down by um, putting some paint on the LED itself and that looks far far better than what it did before it's not as bright And if you probably noticed, I've made a mistake there. Can you spot it? Yep, there's no lintel above the doors in here. So I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to put a little bit of card in, or a little bit of paper in, and paint it. Just to create a lintel. And as you can see, I've got one of the columns in place. And the fence is gone. So I'm going to have a column here and a column over there. That's going to support the two corners. And then the rest of the columns will be further back from the platform as we uh, move along. And uh, once that is in place, I can then put that little bit of fencing back in there. So, there's a lot to do before I even do the canopies as you can see. So we shall focus on the road, get all the paving in right away along there, round the front and all the way down as far as this corner here. And uh, yeah, that will tidy this area up as well at the same time. So let's get cracking. So this is the idea I had in mind um, to stop this wall from bowing out. Um, what I've done here I have used uh, some plain card. It's not very thick, it's about uh, half a mil thick and then I've used the Medcalf um, paving stones on top which gives it a total thickness of roughly just under two millimeters and that has stopped I just turn the camera around the wall from pushing out and I can just push that with my finger there and it, and it won't move and that's um, sort of cured the, the bow at this end and as you noticed I've curved the slabs in there towards this uh, loading bay door and I'll do the same there as we come out and then move further down the road and uh, yeah so that seems to have worked so if I continue with the paving slabs all the way down and then round the corner then we can concentrate on the street um, I've got a little idea for the street which will uh, see as we go but uh, yeah I'm glad that that idea has worked and uh, obviously we'll continue the footpath along here I mean, it can come a little bit thick uh, deeper here and then as it comes round um, the corner here towards the little Wylam cottage which is going to go here at some point lots of bills going on here once the canopies are done so yeah
great view of the station there. And meanwhile, over here, uh, yeah, I've added a 100 mil wide extension here. Um, reason being, <laughs> yeah, I've decided I'd love to have a, a little mini roundabout here. Because you obviously we've got the road going this way, we've got the exit from which, yeah, just looks like a, a junkyard at the moment from that side. Um, and then obviously we've got the entrance going up towards the station. So, yeah, a three way road is going to appear here. So, yeah, I'd like to have. Uh, around about there and I'll have to do a little bit of a research to find out what the roundabouts would have looked like if there was any at all back in the 1950s but I'm sure there would have been or well, there might have just been a giveaway um, here and that would just been a round road but uh, yeah I'm gonna toy with the idea as we go so all this needs uh, sanding now it's been left overnight and uh, we'll be able to paint it black. Is there room for another building? I don't think so. It's not really wide, that space. Um, but we shall see. We shall see. So, progress is progress. Another thing I've done, I have painted the capping stones on this little tiny wall here. The same as the capping stones on the building so this will all need weathering at some point and so will these because I haven't done any weathering on this section of the building yet I have weathered that wall as you can see you can just see some marks they're very very light weathering mind using the citadel white 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 wet washes wet washes yeah just to um uh, just to highlight because they're quite thin those citadel paints it's just a case of wiping it on and wiping it off but yeah I do like that view along there so basically all I'm doing is making up cardboard templates and then fitting the paving slabs to the cardboard templates and then gluing the whole thing down as one obviously this one's got to have a, a radius on it uh, um, to go around the corner but uh, you, you get my drift so that there would fit into that corner and then what I'll do is I'll make up a smaller template to go around this wall and then hopefully finish it off on this corner and then we should have a nice sweeping um, pavement going right around the building. I just thought I'd uh, show you that. Now doesn't that make a world of difference just by widening the baseboard by a hundred millimeters. Um, it gives the pub a bit more depth rather than me always filming down here I can come back a bit now because we have the road um, which basically enhances the view if you like because that edge there is where the original baseboard was so yeah and another plus is we may have a small space there for another building so yeah, that took me a while to do all that um, paving and roadworks. We still got uh, a small roundabout to go in here, uh, which we'll start that in a minute. Um, so yeah, so all that paving has made the world a difference to the station approach. We have a taxi rank here, so I've got a little inlet there so the taxis can pull in to pick up the passengers that uh, leave the station 
And um, there's those telephone boxes I was messing around with at the uh, start of the video. Just there. They're in place now. So yeah, I think it started off as, oh, we'll just fix that wall, push it up against the platform, and it's turned into a major road. And I think it's enhanced this little section of the layout. Now, you've probably noticed I have a train tech traffic signal. Um, you get two in a pack. One uh, is a dummy, and one's a working one. Um, yeah, i <laughs> got no choice but to put a traffic light in there because the road here is really, really narrow. Probably only get one vehicle through there at a time. So, hence why we have a traffic light there. And the other one, the dummy one, will probably go about here somewhere. I've got to make it up yet, so I'll go about there. Bearing in mind, there'll be a back scene right up against this edge with a town scene on it. So, yeah. Um... Yes, it was quite uh, straightforward to wire it up. Uh, I'll show you. So the, here we are, we're underneath the baseboard and that's the stub with the two solder points for the traffic light. So it comes around and it's wired into, hardwired into, I don't know if you can see it, my buzz bar, which is these to here. I've got to put some um, protective sleeving on there yet, um, some heat shrink and I'll, I'll do that in a minute. But, but I just wanted to show you where it went. And as you can see I've got a mass of, of wires there doing all sorts of things. These are these are off the, the station building and uh, uh, that's the main buzz bar no, that's the main supply for the, all the lighting which comes in onto uh, these terminal blocks here. So there you go. It was quite straightforward to do and um, there's no need for a resistor or anything like that and uh, it works fine. Straight off the DCC. Yep, so that is a, it's changed the look of that Jarrah Road now, all the way through to the northeastern pub. Now then, um, I'm going to have to put the bus stop here, and the passengers will have to walk that 200 yards or so to the station. Unless I change my mind and turn this into the bus stop, but uh, we shall see. And here are the instructions for that traffic light. Um, it's quite straightforward. Um, as you can see. I use a 3mm drill bit, by the way, for the hole. Just thought I'd uh, show you this before we move on. Right, so here we are, we're back at the bench and we're just doing one final thing to finish that road off and that's the mini roundabout. Um, I've div cut this piece of card, um, it's roughly uh, 45 millimeters in diameter and I've divided it up into four parts and what I'm going to do here is the semicircles that weren't used um, for the paving. I'm just going to use these to go around the card 
to create the curb and uh, hopefully it should work it should be equal segments so that will go in there like that so I'll just mark that and then mark it there and hopefully it'll stay round might have to tweak tweak it a little bit but, uh, we'll also see yeah, it seems to be working I'll just check make sure it's flush with the edge yeah so you, you get my meaning so that's what I'm going to do obviously I've got Take that back a little bit, ready for the next piece. So here we are, some time later. Um, there's two things wrong with this um, mini roundabout so far. Um, first of all, we haven't got the directional bollards, which we'll add to later. But I've got this gap in the center here. Um, what shall I do about it? I'm thinking maybe add some colour to it, maybe put some flowers in the centre of this mini roundabout. Um, would they have been looked after? Um, I don't know. So I'm just going to put a little bit of PVA wood glue in the centre and I will add some tea leaves to give it the soil look and then we'll just plant it with a few flowers so that's the so I've got some tea leaves which I'll just sprinkle in the middle looks like the soil has been recently well turfed over so what I'll do is I'll get rid of the excess tea leaves just turn it upside down on a kitchen towel right and that's what we've got left so what I'll do now so I'll just add some flowers to it. Or I could have just cut that to shape and dropped that in. But um, now I have some small shrubs. These is what I've got here pick these up virtually anywhere and they're quite reasonably priced so I'll just put three of them into there um, I think I picked these up from eBay I think so a little dab of glue and just drop that in there and um, it'll be nice to have a little bit of colour Just one more. Yeah, 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Now the, the keep left bollards, you've seen me make them before, uh, which is just uh, two strips of 2mm by 4mm card glued together, uh, wrapped around with paper, and a little piece of cardboard across the top. And um, yeah, so the next time you'll see this will be in the middle of the road. With that mini roundabout put in place, it really does finish off the scene. Um, yep, yeah, that is far, far better than what we had there before. And just to have that little bit of colour as well. So this week we've come a long way, um, solving the problem of the wall, um, kicking out at the back there, um, adding the paving right at the top there just pushes the wall back in and um, that's set now for the canopy builds. Uh, one either side just covering the platforms. So I'm quite looking forward to getting stuck into those um, yeah that's uh, it's starting to look a lot lot better now with the road and the paving done and with the addition of the traffic lights so I think that's all from me this week and uh, I'll see you soon hopefully in the new year Happy New Year, everybody, and I'll catch up soon. Bye for now. Bye.